the first anniversary mass for the late Cranberry singer Dolores O'Riordan who died on 15 January 2018 took place on Sunday in Valley Brick and Church. Hundreds of fans of the late singer with the Cranberries, Dolores O'Riordan, have made this pilgrimage from around the world to pay homage at her graveside, the singer's first anniversary mass heard today. Self-confessed Spanish superfan, Enrique Rivas, was one of around 300 people, including Dolores' mother Eileen and siblings, who attended the emotional ceremony held in St. Alby's Church, Valley Bricken and Bohermore, Colimarec. Band member Noel Ha Hogan at the first anniversary mess for the late Cranberry singer Dolores O'Riordan who died on 15 January 2018 took place on Sunday in Valley Bricken Church. Mr. Rivas, who afterwards laid a red head scarf at O'Riordan's grave at Caerley Cemetery, said it was the third time he had made the emotional journey from his home in London since the singer's sudden death on January 15, 2018. O'Riordan, aged 46, and a mother of three, was found dead in a bath in her room at London's Park Lane Hilton. An inquest held into her death last September heard she had drowned while intoxicated with alcohol. Since I was a kid, 10 or 11 years old, I've grown up listening to her music. It's really emotional for me coming here. It was to close the year, coming back to this place, 32-year-old Rivas offered. A small group of fans, from all over the world, joined him at the church having met up earlier. I was here last July so I had the chance to go to the cemetery. I left some flowers and today I will leave my bandana, Rivas added. The Cranberries' three remaining members, Mike and Noel Hogan, along with Fergal Lawler, also attended the Mass. Dolores O'Riordan Eileen O'Riordan, Dolores's mother, and her granddaughter Katie, each sang hymns from the side of the church. A year on from the rock star's funeral, Fr. James Walton, P.P., Valley Brick Inn, said that small rural community of neighbors and friends come together once more to remember Dolores and to support her family as they continue to come to terms with their loss. Despite the remoteness of Valley Bricken, with no village and no nameplate, Fr. Walton remarked that hundreds of people have been visiting this church to pray for Dolores and also making their way to K. Early Cemetery, now a place of pilgrimage for devoted fans, to pay their respects to her, and to leave there a memento of their visit. The singer's gravesite has become a musical shrine, decorated with trinkets left by fans, including guitars, cards, photographs, flowers, and personal messages. F.R. Walton said both he and the O'Riordan family had received thousands of emails, cards and messages from fans expressing their love for the late rock star. Dolores brought joy, solace, and inspiration to the lives of so many people, and continues to do so, based on the emails that I have received, and the fans that I have met over the past year, he said. Reardon's stardom continues to shine, and her powerful hit Dreams, which was played last August at Croke Park, after the final whistle of Limerick's historic All-Ireland victory after a 45-year hiatus, has become the unofficial anthem of Limerick curling, he added. I know the past year has been tough for the O'Riordan family in coming to terms in dealing with the untimely death of a beloved daughter and beloved sister, of coming to the realization that she is not coming back, Fr. Walton said. Mourners carried Dolores O'Riordan's coffin following her funeral, Niall Carson, PA, and so, the words of another Cranberries song, Hold on to love, so hold on to your memories of Dolores, hold on to your beliefs and dreams as she did, hold on to the inspiration, the joy, solace and empathy, that her voice, her music, and her life story has brought to so many online editors.